welcome to episode one. This is Army Life with Tall Jim Reception. Uh, so we're going to talk in this first episode to kick it off. Um, me leaving home and going to basic training. First time I ever rode on an airplane. I really wasn't that scared though. I was actually excited. I was like, yeah, this is cool. And then I slept the whole way. But um, yeah, it was really cool. And it was a... Um, I don't, I don't remember if it was a red-eye flight or no, it wasn't red-eye because we landed about one in the morning. But it was a nighttime flight. But there was only like 40 people in this airplane, if that. It was just really empty. Uh, the stewardesses, once we boarded, they told us, you know, hey, sit anywhere you want. Feel free to take any seat because there's nobody on the plane. So we landed in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, in England, it would be called Birmingham. But it was, here it's called Birmingham. And... Uh, from there we went to reception, we were reception for three days, and a lot of the drill sergeants talked like they grew up there. It was really odd, I mean, it was all like, come here, private, come here, get down, private. And it was like, oh my God. So yeah, it was almost like they chose people from the south when they became drill sergeants to be stationed down south, I, that is weird. but. Or maybe just redneck hillbillies become drill sergeants, I don't know. But, um, yeah, they all had this weird southern hillbilly accent. And uh, kind of like R. Lee Ermey. And I'm not joking. You ever heard R. Lee Ermey? Any of those of you know who that is? And he used to be a marine drill sergeant. And that's exactly how these guys sounded. So, But they weren't screaming at us in reception. And they said it was because they wanted us to be stress-free when we got to our basic training units. Uh, we actually got to our unit where we meet our real drill sergeants. They wanted us to be relaxed and comfortable and okay. So that's why they weren't screaming at us and stuff. But they still treated us rudely. They talked bad to us. Uh, it was pretty bad. Um, I got my hair buzzed off. They gave us $50 when we first got there. Uh, so oh, that's what it was. It was before I got my hair cut. They gave me the $50. I dropped my money on accident. I just they dropped it and I went to pick it up. And this drill sergeant said, Boy, you've got a head for a, or he says, boy, you've got eggs for a head. I said, eggs for a head. And I didn't know if he was trying to say I had eggs for brains or if he was trying to say I was an egghead, you know. I told you, hillbilly drill sergeants, boy, you got eggs for a head, boy. That's what he said. I was like, what's he talking about, you know. And you know how to, you know. Um, but um, Fort McClellan, Alabama was the... Uh, military post that was the school for the chemical jobs and the military police. Now everybody went to basic training there, every job, but the, the people that had finished basic training and were going to schooling for their jobs, uh, there at Fort McClellan it was the chemical and the MPs, and the MPs were assholes. Uh, they were, I'm sorry, they were. They, they, they thought they, they were better than us and they were trainees too, so that was kind of weird. But reception was uh, kind of interesting. It, it was almost like, you know, because once I got into basic training and looking back on it um, retroactively, it, it didn't seem like basic training. You see, I don't know, it was weird. But uh, like I said, they wanted us to be stress-free. We got there, we got our uniforms all issued to us. Um, and some of those guys, man, they had this one guy, his head was so big, they had to take two hats and like sew them together so he could have a hat and then they had to specially issue this guy hats but to just get him a hat to get him into basic training they had to take two of them and sew them together and then specially order his hats it's a big headed dude man and I remember one time we were um, we were doing like uh, barracks cleaning and stuff and the drill sergeant fell asleep <clears throat> and um, so we you know, it got to where it was uh, 12 o'clock, or was it 11.30, I don't remember, It was, but it was lunchtime. And we didn't want to wake the drill sergeant up and go, hey, drill sergeant, it's lunchtime. We were like, what do we do, what do we do? So we just went and ate. Oh, that son of a bitch was pissed, boy. He had, oh, he had us pushing for days. I said, let's just wake the guy. I said, hey, drill sergeant, it's, you know, it's, it's time to go to chow. But no, he, they said, let's just go eat, and we'll come back before he wakes up. So, okay, we'll do that. So we snake off and we're over there eating in the, in the dining facility. Well, we call it the chow hall, the mess hall. 
But uh, today's army, they call it the dining facility. They don't like it to be called the chow hall or the mess hall. What you're eating a lot of times is a mess. But um, no, it's not that bad. But he came into the mess hall while we were eating. Oh my God, man. It was, uh, yeah, it was disastrous. I remember this, when they gave us our dog tags, you know, when they issued us our ID tags, um, you had to stay, they would call your name off and you had to stand up and scream, Hair Drill Sergeant, at the top of your freaking lungs. <clears throat> and uh, the people that would stand up, some of them would stand up and go, Hair. And the drill sergeant would like throw their dog tags on the floor and they had to come walk up and get their dog tags. Well, I stood up and I screamed at the top of my freaking lungs, man. I mean, I screamed so hard it like hurt my throat for like the next half hour. But I screamed so hard, Hill Drill Sergeant, so freaking loud. He threw them suckers over to me and I caught him and I'm like looking at everybody like, that's how it's done, guys. So I don't know if that's an interesting story or not, but it was kind of funny. So we uh, left reception after three days. When we first got there, this one drill sergeant walks up on the bus and he's smoking a cigarette and he goes, all right, I want y'all to get your bags, <clears throat> get your stuff, come off, I want formed a formation out here, okay? I want four ranks, and I want y'all lined up with your bags in front of you. Can y'all do that? Okay, thank you. And he gets off the bus, and we're thinking, <laughs> we got this in a bag, man. We got lucky. We got good drill cerns. This rocks, and we're packing our stuff, you know, we're putting our bags on our back, and this is cool. Next thing we know, we hear screaming like you wouldn't believe. What the hell are you doing on my bus? Get the hell off my bus. And they're screaming at us, man, and they're in our face, and we're like, oh, my God. And what it was, was the first drill sergeant came on, it's all mind games. And you gotta remember, basic training was all mind games. So the first drill sergeant that came on uh, was to get us in this relaxed, okay mode so that they could shock us. Because that next guy that came on there, he was pissed. I mean, he was looking down at us and screaming at us as we were walking off. I mean, we were walking, we were stumbling off the bus. And we came off that bus, man. They were in our face, there was like eight of them suckers or more, um, there, there must have been more. And I was in Delta Company, the Delta Bulldogs. I got something for you guys. And uh, I was in the Delta Bulldogs. Now this is an old sweatshirt. This is the original sweatshirt. It's so old and it's been ripped up. Um, I mean, it got ripped, it got a big hole in it, just I think from usage. So I tried to make, like cut it to make like a sleeveless shirt. Uh, because I didn't want to waste it and it didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the uh, picture out and probably frame it. Well, definitely going to frame it. Uh, but this is the original from 1984, guys. If you can see that. 1984. The original sweatshirt. 1984. That's the original sweatshirt. Death Dealing Delta, that's what we were, Delta 2. And it was, what was it, Delta 2, 6 something. And it was Delta Company, 2nd Basic Training Battalion, 6th Basic Training Brigade. So I think it was Delta 2, 6. Yeah, Delta 2, 6. But um, we were Death Dealing Delta, Death Dealing Delta. We had to yell that when we were running. There was this one guy I went to high school with who went to basic training uh, with me. He was on the plane and everything. And uh, at reception, he was talking all this crap. Man, I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want to embarrass him, but I still remember the guy's name. But uh, he was like, man, they ain't gonna mess with me. They ain't gonna, man, them drill sergeants ain't gonna do nothing to me. I'm gonna get out there and be like, mm-hmm, that's what's what you want, drill sergeant. And when he got off that bus, he had one in his face, and I'm not lying, this, is, this actually happened. He had one in his face, one in this ear, and one in this ear, and he was whispering, yes, drill sergeant, yes, drill sergeant. And the drill sergeant got around, don't whisper, boy, you're making me excited. And we we're trying to keep from laughing. Um, I started giggling, actually, because some of the things they said were freaking hilarious, and they were on me, like, whoa, you think this is funny, huh? No, no drill sergeant. No, why are you laughing? You think I look funny? And they they get right in your face, and they had these big bloated faces. Do I look funny to you? And you want to say, yeah, you do, with that freaking Smokey the Bear hat. And, uh, which I'm going to wear that hat one of these episodes. But uh, maybe next week. I don't want to do it for the reception one. 
But um, you've all seen the hat. He, uh, they were in this guy's face, and he didn't say nothing. You know, and the whole time I was thinking about that. I was thinking, dude, I thought you were gonna like show him up. What happened to man? I'm gonna show these guys. <laughs> We got settled in, we had our drill sergeants, we had this one who was 82nd Airborne and he wasn't all there. Next week I'm going to talk a little bit about basic training. I got some stories for you. There were some things that happened to me that are pretty funny. That are pretty funny. So uh, next week, um, next Saturday, I'm going to bring some more to you. And uh, I think you are going to enjoy this series. Right, this one, this first one's probably not as exciting because it's reception. It's me going to basic training, reception, getting there, getting into the unit. And that's just not as exciting. But I'm going to tell you what, I've got some stories. Somebody, one person commented on my videos, I want to hear some army stories. I got some stories. Guys, I got some freaking stories for you. So you guys are going to enjoy it. But that's it for now next week basic training and I got a couple basic training stories I'm gonna give you I got something that happened to me that somebody else got blamed for oh it was funny and do you think I confessed yeah I was like oh, man I'm glad I, we got blamed for it yes so sorry hey sorry hey I'd rather be a live coward than a dead hero because those guys are out for blood those drill sergeants thanks guys <laughs>